Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Reka Kadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom. To the Akiyam and to the Akwaf. That'll be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Rataza. That is to say Lord willing. Hopefully by the end of this lesson you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ayman. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. And um, I'm going to be going into today's lesson. I'm going to go into a... Uh, you know that 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 spirit, that Eve spirit. You know, the serpent, the serpent is back at it again, and he's he's using Eve. You know, just like just like in the beginning time in the book of Genesis chapter three. You know, when the serpent beguiled Eve. Well, the serpent is back at it again with this vaccination, and then and then lo and behold, guess who's guess who he, who, who he's using. To, to, to draw out you so-called Negroes. <laughs> okay? He's using Eve, man. Alright? So, um... <sighs> clearly you can see how uh, when you watch... When you watch the news feed, you know, all you're seeing is the vaccination and... The vaccine and... How they have so much, um... Uh, shipment and, and loads and cargo coming from all across the world. It's now it's now in the Americas and now you can get it. You know? And they come in live on the T V and they're using a so called Israel a so called uh Negro woman, Eve. Okay. So they're gonna use they're using the woman to get to the men. You know? You know that's how things was from 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 day one. You know, you 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 weak men falling and chasing behind women. You know, they always use the weaker vessel. The woman is the weaker vessel, so they, they use her, they use an Eve. Okay? But hey, we're not ignorant of Satan's devices, man. Okay, let Satan said get an advantage of us, but we're not ignorant of his devices. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 11. Okay, speaking of myself first and foremost, foremost and uh, you brothers and, uh, and, and a few sisters that are in this truth of ours, you know, you know to, it's time to be diligent and to be prudent. You know, not to be caught up in the snare. You know, the, the Lord sent us out as a, as a sheep. You know, as sheep. All right? As it tells you in the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. But um, um, let's get to the scriptures. You know, let's get to the scriptures. My first scripture today, you know, before we even get ahead of ourselves. This is the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 28. It says, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. Okay. Ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead, nor print any marks upon you. I am Yahweh. Okay? I am the Lord. Okay? So the point is, ye shall not make any cuttings in your flesh. So that's first and foremost. Okay? You don't supposed to be jabbed up. Okay? You don't supposed to be jabbed up. But look who the serpent is using right on national television to try to convince or persuade you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans whose blood lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, who are Israelites, to take this this vaccination, okay, against what they call, you know, or what we know to be Royal Crown 19, all right? We don't even supposed to uh, 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 make cuttings in our in, in our flesh, all right? 
Number one, you don't know you don't know what you don't know what's in the vaccine. That's number one. And on, on on the other hand, that it could be a placebo. You know, they could they could it could it, it, it could be something harmless because they're doing it on TV. So that's the trick. You know, they're full of trickery and snares. Okay? And they're very deceitful and crafty. You know? It could be a placebo. It could be something that's that's not really harmful because they're doing it on TV. And when you fall, you see this lady, she could be all right and fine. But you, they give it to in, in, in secret and in different rooms and off the air. You don't know what it's going to do to you. You don't know what which job you're going to get. You know? So you know, you're not you're not to trust you're not to trust the enemy, man. As the scriptures say. Okay? But moving on to the uh, to the next scripture, you know? Once we done uh, clarify that you don't even supposed to uh, put cuttings in your flesh. That's number one. Okay? Let's go to the book of Psalms. Psalms chapter 103. We're going to start at one. A Psalms of David. It says, Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless Yahweh, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Okay? And forget not all his benefits. Verse 3. That's my point. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases? The most I heal your diseases, man. If anything wrong with you, anything happened to you, you know, healing comes from the most high. You got to believe that. You got to know that. All right? You, you have to believe. All right? That's what it is. But healing comes from the most high. Once again, Psalms 103 and 3. Who forgiveth all thine iniquities? Who healeth all thy diseases. Okay, the most high. The most high do that. Alright? That's what it is. Um, I had a scripture just now. And it, um, it jumped right out. But I'll, I'll grab it back real quick, you know. As a matter of fact, I'll just quote it. It's, um, it's, um, Ecclesiasticus, or otherwise known as Sirach, you know, where it says, the Lord had created medicines out of the earth, okay, and those that are wise, okay, or he, so like he that is wise will not, will not abhor them, okay, the most high, the Lord had made medicines out of the earth, okay, and he, and he that is wise will not abhor them, okay, meaning to avoid them. If you wise, you would not avoid them. You would use them. Okay? So we ought to use what the Most High gave us, the herbs, the plants, the teas, all of these things. That's what the Lord gave us. He gave us the herbs. He gave us medicines out of the earth. Okay? And that's, that's what we're supposed to be using. Okay? The Most High gave us medicines out of the earth. And if you wise, you would not abhor them. You would use them if you wise. You would seek them. You know, do what you have to do and pray to the Lord. Healing come from the Lord. Okay, healing come from the word of the Lord, as a matter of fact. It tells you that in the book of, um, it tells you that in the book of um, um, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16 and verse 12, where it tells you that it was not, it was neither, um, it was neither, um, it was neither uh where it says plasma. It was neither what it says oh, plasma, but the word of the Lord. Okay? I could get it re real quick and we can move on. As a matter of fact, but it's, it's the Lord. Is is the Lord, man. It's the Lord that 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 heals you. So you you ought to trust in the Lord. And lean that on your own understanding. Okay? You have to trust in the Lord. And lean that on your own understanding. Okay? Acknowledge him in all thy ways. And he shall direct your paths. Okay? Man's going is of the Lord. So at the end of the day. You acknowledge him. And he will direct your paths. Alright? But I'm going to find the scripture. And I'm going to move on in the lesson. Because I, I, I brought it up. I quoted it. Let me find this. It's in, uh, it's in uh, Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 16. And 
the 12th, the 12th verse, okay, it shows you that healing, healing comes directly from the Lord, man, comes directly from the Lord, okay, Let, let's get that, and then we're going to continue moving on, you know, because a lot of these women, these Eve, you know, we have a lot of women who 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 believe, who believe in the Lord from the time you know of our Lord Yahweh Shai, the time he walked the earth, and and from Paul, you know, you know, and and believe on the disciples, you know. But we're not talking about all of our women. We're talking, but we're talking about the majority. The majority, they they love to run to go down into Egypt. You know, but let's get this scripture real quick. Um, here it goes. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 16 and verse 12. For it was neither herb nor mollifying plaster that restore them to health, but thy word, O Lord, which healeth all things. All right, the, the Lord himself, thy word, healeth all things. All right, there you go. There you have it. You know, that's what it is. That's why you got to also pray. You know, that's why you got to also pray. All right? You, you got the herbs and stuff the most I give you, but you got to pray. You got to be in good spirits. You got to be in good spirits. As a matter of fact, I have another scripture for that. And then I'm going to move on from the lesson. Okay? You got to be in good spirits to, 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 to be healed, man. You know, you got to be, you can't, you know the spirit. The scripture tells you that a, a, a wounded, a wounded spirit, who who can bear. You know, don't mean to go off task here, but uh, for edification's sake, let's just get that, and then we're gonna move on to the rest of the scriptures. Okay, a, 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 a wound, a wounded spirit who can bear, man. You gotta be in good spirits. Okay, I think that's a uh, um, what is it uh. It's in the book of Proverbs, eighteen. Proverbs eighteen. And about um, this probably I've kept. Uh, bear with me here. Bear with me. It's um. Yeah. Oh, I'm trying. Bear with me here. Let me. I want to find that scripture, and then we'll move on. Uh, I think it might be the 14th chapter. Let's see if I can find that. But it speaks about um, how um, what a wounded a wounded spirit who can bear. Let me see. Let me try a wounded. That was broken. Let me search wounded. I think it's Proverbs 14, if it's not 18. 18 man that's right why we're going to 18 and 14 Proverbs 18 and 14 the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity okay the spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity but a wounded spirit who can bear see you ought to be in good spirits okay when it comes to healing and things like that you ought to be in good spirit you ought to you you, you ought to be in a, in a wounded spirit you can't have no let nobody wound your spirit you understand you, you got to be in good spirits, man. Once again, Proverbs 18 and 4, it says, The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. You know, infirmity means your sickness, your disease, or whatever, whatever ailment, whatever might be ailing you. Okay? The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. So your spirit will keep you going. If you're in good spirits, while you're praying to the Lord, and while you're using the herbs and the medicines of the earth that he gave you that you should not abhor. 
that you should actually use and be wise. Use wisdom. Okay? The spirit of a man will sustain his infirmity. But the wounded, but a wounded spirit, who can bear? Who can bear a wounded spirit? It's hard for you to be healed with a wounded spirit. You see, all of this stuff is written right in the scripture, man. It's written a fourth time, it's written for our learning. But that's uh, I didn't mean to uh, go off course, but it's for the edification of the body. Anyway, but uh let's uh let's continue on with the rest of the scriptures. We're talking about how how Eve, how the how the spirit, how, how the serpent. So lucky how the serpent is hard at work right now, and he's using Eve, okay, to try to, to, to trap up our people. Okay, this is Isaiah chapter 30 and verse 1. It says, Woe to the rebellious children. Okay. And that's talking about you Israelites. Okay, who's who not seeking the Lord? Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord. You know, woe means destruction. Woe to the rebellious children, said the Lord, that take counsel, but not of me, and that come up with a covering, but not of my spirit, that they may add sin to sin. And that's that's what this the woman in New York who who who, who, who was vaccinated first on, on live television, that's what she's doing. She's adding sin upon sin. Because first of all, I read the first scripture, Leviticus um, chapter 19 and verse 28, that we aren't to make any cuttings in our flesh. Okay? But then she's taking, she's taking, she's taking, she, she, she take counsel, but not of the most high. Okay? And, and that, that, and, 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 and that uh, cover with a covering, but not of the most high spirit. All right? That's what she's doing. Verse 2, it says, that walk to go down into Egypt. Okay, America is known as spiritual Egypt. It tells us that in Revelation chapter 11 and verse 8. Okay? That walk to go down into Egypt. So this is the modern day Egypt. And have not asked at my mouth. They ain't seek that. They ain't seek counsel from the Lord. Okay? To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. Okay? And the modern day Pharaoh would be who, whoever is the president now. Okay? Whether Trump. He, he haven't conceded as yet. They have Joe Biden, they lack. Whichever one of them is the president at this moment. Mm -hmm. Trump is the president at this moment until until uh, inauguration or he ex, uh, succeeds or until Joe Biden take over or whatever. But he would be the, they would, they, the two right now. Uh, technically, Trump is right now. And it says, and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. So they trust in the shadow of Egypt, man. They trust in, in this old system. Would, would never did anything good for them. Okay? Verse 3 says, Therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame. Okay? And the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion. Yeah, because why? You trust in Egypt. Okay? Y'all love this. This 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 system would be uh, um, um, against y'all from day one, okay? You can't see it because in your mind you think you're free. In your mind, you, you still you t you still think you're free in your mind when you're not, okay? You know that's what it is in in, in your mind. A lot a lot a lot of you still think you're free. The Book of Baruch, chapter three and verse eight says, "Yet this day we are in captivity." Yet this day we are in our captivity, okay? Where the Lord has scattered us, all right? Roughly paraphrasing, for a reproach, meaning a shame, a disgrace, and a subject unto payments. That's why we make so much, pay so much bills in America and across the world, okay? Because we are scattered. We live underneath the curses of the book of Deuteronomy chapter 28, Okay? Uh, verse 15 to 68, tell you about the curses. Verse 1 to 14, tell you about the blessings. Well, we broke the covenant, so we live under the curses. Okay? It says, um, you know, it's, 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 uh, it's a subject to reproach for all the iniquities of our fathers because our fathers broke the covenant. Okay? So we live under those curses, man. Yet this day we are in our captivity. But if you if you if you try to uh, explain that to the average, the average um, so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, they wouldn't understand it. Who are Israelites, right? You try to explain that to them, they're not gonna they're not gonna hear you on that, man. They ain't, they ain't gonna have no understanding. Okay, that's just it. 
But uh, hey, one thing I could say, you are never to trust your enemy, man. The book of uh, the book of Psalms, Psalms chapter eighty three tells you, man. You know, just read Psalms eighty three. You know, you, you, you can go there, do your due diligence, and read and read and read Psalms eighty three from one to about the the the, the fifth verse. You can read the whole chapter, as a matter of fact. Do your diligence, though. Do your due diligence. And then you would see that uh, things written a fourth time was written for our learning. Okay? But I'm going to read this out of the Apocrypha. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10. It says, never trust thine enemy. Okay? So, this is, this is how you ought to be, man. This is how you ought to be. The scripture tell you, First uh, Peter chapter five and verse eight. Okay, be sober, be be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, walking about as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. Okay, so if you use a low lying fruit, if you're willing to take a jab, if you're willing to get vaccinated or get the vaccine, you're gonna be devoured, man. You're gonna be trampled upon. Okay, you're gonna be trampled upon. All right. It tells you. It tells you that. Uh, 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 it tells you that in the book of Second Ezra, chapter sixteen, it tells you that you'd be trodden underfoot. Okay, that's what it is, man. But again, um, you got to be wise and use and use and, and be astute, man. You know, use wisdom. Okay. You got to be walk circumspect. I tell you that in the book of Ephesians, chapter five and verse fifteen. Okay, walk walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. These are the evil times that we in. Bad times. When you break down the word evil, it's a compound word. Okay, eve meaning time, ill meaning bad. Bad times, redeeming the times because the days are evil. Okay, and that's just what it is, man. You got enemies. All right, so once again, I'm going to read this. Um, Ecclesiasticus chapter 12 and verse 10, it says, Never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusted, so is his wickedness. Okay, they were, they were created wicked, so they cannot be, they cannot be re rehabilitated, uh, re rehabilitated. What the most I made cricket, no man can make straight. Okay, though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed. And beware of him, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hast wiped a looking glass, and thou shalt know that his rust had not been altogether wiped away. Okay, verse 12 says, Set him not by thee, lest, lest when he hath overthrown thee, he stand up in thy place. Neither let him sit at thy right hand, lest he seek to take thy seat, and thou at the last remember my words, and be prick therewith. Okay, so the scriptures say that they never trust your enemies, man. I, I prefer to listen to my forefathers who wrote the scriptures, okay, who were, who were given the Lord's words to speak, okay. And I say, the, the, the serpent is back at it again, man. He, 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 he beguiling Eve, okay, the so-called the so-called Negro woman, okay, to try to to try to persuade you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to take the job. Okay, verse 13 says, who will pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent? So ain't nobody going to pity you if you if you get vaccinated and, 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 and your face starts swelling up and shit. Or any such as come nigh, or come nigh while a beast. So one that goeth to a sinner and is defiled with him in his sins, who will pity? Okay, for a while he will abide with thee, but if thou begin to fall... He will not tarry. Verse 16 says, An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but his heart, okay, meaning his mind, okay, when you, this word Hebrew, this word heart in the Hebrew means love, okay, which is your mind. He imagined how to throw thee into a pit. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, meaning his mind, he imagined how to throw thee into a pit. And he will weep with his eyes, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. Okay? If 
if adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, there you go again, though he pretend to help thee, okay, he want to give you the job pretending to help you, yet shall he undermine thee, okay? If you trust this devil, you're going to be undermined, okay? He will shake his head and clap his hands and whisper much and change his consonants, okay? So, hey, hey, there you, there you go, man. It's no, it's no, it's no going around it, man, the, the, the serpent. It's back at it again. All right, I'm, I'm going to read it. I'm going to take it back. I'm going to take it back to the beginning. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's go to the book of Genesis chapter 3 and read that real quick and then we close it up right there. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1, it says, Now the serpent was more subtile than any beast of the field which the Lord power had made. Okay, the serpent, okay, which is a man, okay? And it says, and he said unto the woman, yea, meaning Eve, okay? You, you Eve is, is happening all over again. You let the serpent beguile you. And he said unto the woman, yea, have the most I said, he shall not eat of every tree of the garden. And the woman said unto the serpent, which is a man again, the wicked, Okay, we may eat up the fruit of the trees of the garden, but the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, the most I said, most I have said, ye shall not eat of it, neither shall ye touch it, lest ye die. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. So see, this this the wicked now back into the heirs of, 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 of the Negro woman. Okay? The serpent telling Eve, You will not surely die. And then Eve now, she's she looking for that power, that woman rights, you know, that power that, 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 that they, they, they've been getting in, 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 in the daughter of Babylon, you know, women's liberation and all of this different stuff, looking for certain powers, you know, thinking she's going to be the first at something, you know. Verse 4 says, and, and the serpent said unto the woman, ye shall not surely die. For the most high do it, know that in the day ye eat thereof, then your eyes shall be open, and ye shall be as gods, knowing good and evil. And the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was pleasant to the eyes, and a tree to be desired to make one wise. So there you go, the serpent beguiled her. In her mind, she thinking all of these things, she thinking in her mind, right? What she could be, and what she could get, and what she could do. She took up the fruit thereof and did eat and gave it also also and gave it unto her husband with her and he did it eat. You know, so see, that's the whole purpose why why they're using Eve. Okay? For you for you for you Jakes out there to follow suit. You know, they, they always use the Negro woman, you know? Try to raise them up over you, you know. Basically they're letting them rule over you. You know, the scripture even says that. <laughs> you know, I, the, the scripture says that I, I, I will make a new thing in the earth. A woman shall surpass a man. And I also tell you that our, 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 our children, children are their oppressors and women and woman rule over them. Okay, these are the things that happen to us, man. It's right in the scripture for you to search. You know, and, 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 and gave also unto her husband with her and he did eat. Okay? And the eyes of them both were open and they knew that they were naked and they saw so it's showing you that they know they did something wrong. And they sewed fig leaves together and made themselves aprons. Okay? And they heard the voice of the Lord, power walking in the garden in the cool of the day and Adam and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord power amongst the trees of the garden. And the Lord power called unto Adam and said unto him, Where art thou? And he said, I heard thy voice in the garden, and I was afraid, because I was naked, and I hid myself. And he said, Who told thee that thou was naked? Okay. Hast thou eaten of the tree, whereof I command thee that thou shouldest not eat? And the man said, The woman whom thou gavest to me, the woman who thou gavest to be with me, Salakia, 
he gave me of the tree and I did eat. Okay, see, there you go. You know, so that's what they, that's what they, that's what the soap, that's what the soap, the, the serpent hoping. They hoping, and, and it's going to happen, you know, because of the, enough of these women, you know, they're going to lead a lot of the flock to the slaughter. You know, these men, a lot of these men going to follow suits, follow enough of these women. Okay. That's what it is, man. And the Lord power said unto the woman, what is this that thou hast done? And the woman said, the serpent beguiled me and I did eat. You see? So, hey, there you have it, man. There you have it. The, 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 the serpent is back at it again. And he's using Eve once again, like in the beginning. Okay? So, hey, once again, man, be, be circumspect, man. Walk circumspectly, not as wise. Slack you, not as fools, but as wise. Okay, redeeming the times because the days are evil, man. Hey, hey, it is what it is, man. You got to be seeking the Lord these days and in these times. Okay, so with that, I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go ahead and give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rekak, and Dash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their life to do so. Until the next time, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, I'm going to say, Shalom.